Hi friends, earlier in a video we have seen how to upload a SQLite 3 database and work on the Google Drive to connect it. And that time we are mounting the uh, database to the, our Google Drive and using it. Now we'll see by using WGate how we can uh, download the from the URL, how we'll download the entire database to our Google Drive and start using from there. So my before you start my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also. Let's start the script. We are in our Google Colab platform. So this is the URL you can use it to download the sample database file. Now let's see where it gets downloaded. Now here if you click this files folder you'll see this is our uh, storage where will be uh, files will be appear will appear here once you download it now this url you can see we have used wget to download this to our drive so directly let's run this and see it is downloading now it is over now let's refresh our left side panel to see here it is our database is available here to work on it to connect to our SQLite database, we need to load a magic extension. So for that, let me just write it percentage load extension. Now I'll say SQL. So this is the extension I want. Let's see whether it is already loaded. They're already loaded. So otherwise it will load again. Now let me just let's close this. Add one more code block here. Now let's uh, connect to our uh, database. So for that, let me say uh, SQL now that is the extension what you have loaded SQLite now I am connecting to my db dot db this is what the da our database it is here let's run this yeah it is connected let's add a one more code block now uh, well, let's see how many tables are there in our database so for that we'll say now SQL next line I'll write the query select name from uh, SQLite master this is where the reference of all tables are stored where type equal to table now let's run this and see what it output it get yeah you can see there are three tables category subcategory and student these are the three tables are there the entire uh, your this jupyter notebook or dot ipynb file you can download it also it is link is there in the description so you can simply run it in your google drive now let's see a structure of a table so for that we'll say sql now pragma table info now which one i want i want student or other tables also we can see now let me just end it and run once i can see the structure of this here it is it is the structure of the student table is available here let's run one more query to get the what are the records available so for that we'll say sql now we'll write the our query select star means all the columns from student student is our table name limit let's not collect everything we'll say starting from 0 till 5 or if you remove this limit the entire around 35 records will be displayed so let's uh, run this code and see how the output is fine here you can see the output here so this entire jupyter notebook or dot ipynb file you can download it along with the sample database also if required you can and the link is there in the description that's all friends hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any doubts suggestions questions use the comment section below to post it my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.